five Facebook ads that print money. And how do I know they print money? Because these are the exact ads we've ran in client accounts. So they'll be showing you some of our top five ads that we've ran in client accounts. Yes, I'm gonna be actually showing you the ads. Some, some You'll see some of the brands we run ads for. And then also too, you also are gonna see spend receipts as well, just to prove that, hey, like we actually run these and like how much they've spent and stuff like that. So uh, with that being said, let's dive into number one. So this is an ad that we recently created. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite examples of a supplement ad that's fairly easy. Uh, so first things first right here is that you're gonna see this big text. This is the creative headline. A lot of people ask me, Nick, creative headline versus regular headline, which one's more important is the creative headline all day because the creative headline itself is what's gonna grab people's attention. So big, bold text, easiest way to find inflammation. We're talking to a um, kind of like a, a problem aware market that's looking to, that's dealing with inflammation, which is a problem right there. And then the next thing is we're introducing uh, the solution to that problem with this mushroom coffee. Um, I don't have the actual ad copy in this particular photo, but you'll see in a second some other stuff. And then basically we're just calling out a few of the supplements that's in this particular mushroom coffee. Rishi, turkey tail, chaga specifically. So, and then here is the uh, spin on this particular campaign or this particular ad itself. We spent $60,000 over the lifetime of it. I think it's been running only for like six months specifically. Uh, we drove 40 or 1,454 purchases. Cost per purchase is $40. The AOV for this brand is like $70. And then, but it's the LTV that's extremely high for this brand. So we're scaling at break even and making all of our money on retention in the second month, third month, and then on on as the clients stick with us for years uh, for this particular supplement brand. So yeah, great, great example of like an image ad. Uh, this is actually the only image ad I'm gonna show you guys today, but big, bold headline, two or three features and benefits, and that's it. Very simple. And also eye-catching visuals. Now, next one I'm gonna show you guys is a Facebook ad for a clothing brand uh, that we spent over $150,000 on. And I'm actually just gonna pull it up right here. Um, here's the actual ad itself. Uh, again, 159,000. So actually pretty much the time I'm making this video is probably spent like 175,000 now. Um, but I'm actually gonna pull this up. Still on Twitter, sorry. I post all of these on Twitter, by the way. So like, if you wanna see more ads consistently from me, check out my Twitter. So oop. let's check out this ad really quick. Uh, so this is an ad from one of our clients called Icon Amsterdam. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Uh, Long-term client of ours, been with them for over two years now. Um, absolutely amazing client. And this is one of our, like kind of our ads that we run for a specific account. Um, full note, we didn't create this ad. Um, their content creator created this ad. Uh, so I just wanna make sure, you know, I'm not taking credit that I created this ad specifically, but um, just a great example of an ad for a clothing brand right here. There's so many key things that we have to look at here. Number one, the fast uh, paste has been working really well for clothing because there's really nothing we need to communicate here. There's no like features and benefits we need to communicate. Um, we're, we're more of a fashion brand. We're not really like a, a feature focused brand with like revolutionary new stuff. Like the pants fit amazing and that's all we need to showcase. And that's about it. And the rest of it is just, you know, the, the lifestyle. So a couple things here, you can notice like the St. Lawrence, uh, the kind of professional background and stuff. Like it looks like a professional studio. Uh, you can see the guys wearing like a Rolex or something like that. Um, he takes care of himself as well. You know, he, he's not like overweight and you know, he, he looks fairly good for a guy. Um, so yeah, so good, good person we're portraying. We're portraying that kind of like luxurious lifestyle a little bit without saying luxury or anything like that. And then also too, we're showcasing the product. We're showcasing a variety of products as well. So that way it also shows that we have a variety of colors. So that way people don't come for just one color. They know that we have a variety of colors um, to where it can help satisfy a little bit more of people's needs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so very straightforward. It also, you know, all the, the visuals and everything, it just, it makes these pants look luxurious. Um, you're getting a lot of value for the quality of it. And um, yeah, really solid ad. Something like I said, we've, we've ran for a while now. We've seen a lot of really good success uh, with this ad and um, definitely something I recommend uh, testing out. Now, next one is, this is an ad that uh, we spent a little over 100K in less than six months. Um, it's actually helped us scale a brand now from 5K a day to 30K a day. And this was basically a very challenging ad to create. 
Why? Because after we did an ad account audit for this account, um, we tested like probably close to like 60 different creatives for this account and just could not find the right thing for this account. We knew that this particular account had a lot of creative testing done before us. So we had to really dig deep here. This is one of those like, hey, Nick, I've tried everything. I've done everything correctly like you and I just can't get anything to work. Um, now, granted, this account was already doing really good when we came on board. They just want to take it to the next level. So we had to really dig deep to find totally new ways to position this product in the marketplace. That's what we had to do. And that allowed us to spend about 97K uh, over six months. To be honest, it's actually like 97K over like two months um, in terms of like, you know, just the time we've been running this ad. And I'm gonna show you guys this ad right now. And I'm gonna show you how we position this product in a completely new market. So let's see, let me actually open this up. So this is my girlies who need a girl's night soon. So we're basically creating like calling out a specific group of people and then we're calling out like, hey, here's something fun you should try, um, which is kind of like, a, you know, unaware market and we're introducing something that's like a solution specifically for them uh, from here. And yeah, we're just portraying the product instead of just saying, here's our product, you should buy it. I'm portraying and creating a problem for people um, and solving it with our product. Here's, here's something for our girlies, uh, calling out a specific group of people. And then I'm basically just saying like, you know, for girls who need a girl night soon, here's something that's really fun you should try that's new that we think you'll enjoy right there. And yeah, and it's been a solid ad for us. And it was a great example of just shifting away from the, hey, like, you know, the typical, hey, here's our product, here's the features and benefits to now, how do we position this in a starving marketplace? Which that's always my favorite positioning in a starving marketplace because now we can actually grow sales faster because we don't have a lot of competition. We found a starving market and we're, we're helping this starving market. Now, next one is an insurance ad uh, for one of our clients. Uh, we spent a couple million dollars a year for and this ad is basically selling insurance, a uh, specific type of insurance you'll see in a second. And there, this is like just such a challenging ad to create. And I'm just gonna go dive straight into it so I can, I can really break this down for you guys. Um, this ad has been very successful for us. Like I said, we spent over $400,000 over uh, nine months. Now, yeah. let's see, I don't want you guys. So first off, just spend receipt, uh, $444,000 we spent on this ad. And then I'm gonna show you guys pretty much the whole thing. So this was the uh, copy we created, uh, the headline, and then the uh, the thumb stopper. So like this is the most important part of the ad right here. And then like the copy, the copy which is up here and the headline right here, that's like 20%. This is responsible for 80% of the stop. So you need to put a lot of emphasis on that. And I don't do thumbnails. I just take the, uh, the screenshot of the first three seconds of an ad and I use that as the thumbnail. So, and we're actually gonna go through this ad turn off mini Nick right there. All right, so this is the actual ad right here. Now, key thing here is that we were advertising this product now for about 12 months before we created this ad. And we needed to open up an unaware market. An unaware market's the largest market you can open, and it's also one of the hardest markets to open. You still need to hit the same KPIs as any of the other markets, but we really need to hit that unaware market so we can increase the amount of people we can reach so we can continue spending. So number one thing we did was call out our target audience. So first thing you have to do in an unaware market is call out your target audience, call out um, the, the group of people that we're targeting. And then little known secret about Medicare. So we're enticing people, we're calling people out who are on Medicare, but we're also enticing people to keep watching. Second thing, your hook needs to entice people to keep watching. That's also like something super important right there. Now what we're doing is we're starting to introduce the problem. I slowly introduce this. So little known secret about Medicare, that could cost you thousands. I'm keeping people on the hook of why do you need to keep watching and why do you need to pay attention here? When you call an ambulance, da -da -da, your am emergency ambulance bill could be deemed not medically necessary. Now I'm talking to a problem aware market. I'm making them problem aware aware of the problem, which is that they could have an ambulance bill denied that could cost them a lot of money. And I'm visually showcasing how much money as well that is costing them. So that way they can really understand it's very something very bad here. Uh, leaving you owing thousands. Again, just completely twisting that knife. Really important. Now, this is something really powerful here because you wouldn't know this unless you're actually running this account. 
we had a lot of people that basically said, well, my health insurance will cover it, blah, blah, blah. So on all of our ads, which is false because there's about a 50% chance that your health insurance will not cover this. So a really powerful sales tactic is going ahead and calling out an objection, addressing an objection before it becomes an objection. So I'm calling out the, are you sure your insurance will cover it before we even introduce the product? So they don't even know what the product is yet, but we're calling in handling an objection out before it becomes an objection. Are you sure your insurance will cover it? They all thought they would. So I'm basically showcasing how like, hey, all these people thought that their insurance were gonna cover it too. And I'm further just twisting that knife and handling an objection. Now that I got people hooked in, I got people really diving and watching this ad, and I've overcame their objections. Now they're primed to be able to, uh, for us to introduce uh, basically the, the solution. And that's our insurance product, basically like ambulance insurance. So I'm gonna call it for here, um, introduce it. Uh, this is a unique way. I don't always do it like this, but it's a unique way. Over 2 million members trust them to protect them. I just wanted to really call out the fact that, hey, we've been in business for a long time. Uh, we're ethical and uh, you know we, we all do the right things. Um, now, because this is an unaware market, and because it's a stage one sophistication, that basically means they haven't seen a lot of products like this before. So I need to really educate them on how the product works. So here, I'm basically just simple method of how it works and very easy way for them to understand. Very articulated. Cool. So now that I've gotten from unaware, problem aware, to another solution aware, they understand how the product works now. So now that I'm a product aware, now I'm just simply increasing the social proof right here now it's a great time to introduce like yeah some testimonials of other people getting their desire solved so and you can't really hear it but it's just people saying like how you know this particular product helped them a lot yada 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 yeah that's it and then at the end here is a call to action um a little bit more other social proof right there and then call to action very simple um but yeah really really amazing ad like i said we spent over about four hundred thousand dollars on this ad um and just from a psychological perspective we put everything into making that ad as perfect as possible now this one right here this is probably this is the last creative we're gonna go over number five right here um this ad right here took us less than a minute to film and it's done over two hundred thousand dollars in ad spin uh for us and actually the amount of sales it's probably made is because this is two hundred thousand dollars of ad spend based off what i could find under this ad name um but we also have two ad accounts and this is just one of the two ad accounts that this ad's crushed in so i would probably say it's probably spent close to 500k and done a little over two million dollars in sales but just because of this video i'm just going to claim what i what i can see here and i just want to showcase this to you guys um but yeah, so let's break down this video. And a lot of you guys who follow the channel religiously probably have already seen this video. It's the simplest ad we've ever ran and it absolutely crushes. So 15 seconds, that's how long this video is. Um, this particular girl who filmed this video literally just set her camera up, filmed this 15 second segment, sent this to us over a text message. I uploaded straight to the ad account and it spent 200 grand. That's it. There's a lot going on here though. So let's pay attention here. So first off, yeah, I know you guys won't be able to hear it and there's no captions on it, but all she's basically saying is, here's our product, here's how you can customize it, that's it. So nothing special in terms of the wording, but just being very simple. This product does not need to be overthought. It's a very simple, straightforward product. Second thing here is look at the contrast between the product itself and the background. The product really stands out. It's, it's, it's very easy to see. It's not overpowering because we, we tried this exact thing with different backgrounds and like this background just performed amazing. Next thing is that the people that are watching this ad are dominantly 50 plus conservative Southern women. That's who's like our dominant purchase, like buyer for this particular brand. Not, not the only people purchasing, but our dominant buyer. And blonde girl, she got a country accent. She looks like she could be her their daughter. And, you know, woman's going to stop like, oh my God, look how cute she is, blah, blah, blah. What's she selling? Yeah, that, that type of like, that type of, uh, you know, attention grabbing right there. Next thing is look at the background. It's very Southern. You know, the bricks and everything like that. Makes you almost feel like you're on like a ranch, for example. It's not like country. Like we tried this exact ad, but like in Miami, filmed on like a, a boardwalk, did not do well at all. Um, but this top ad right here did way better. So the environment, 
and the person in the ad all identifies with our customer and like makes the customer stop to listen. Next thing is that the ad copy itself, you don't see it. I just basically say, when's the last time you surprised your sweetheart? Worked amazing. And yeah, this ad right here, it's done, like I said, a little over $200,000 in ad spend. Obviously, uh, the spin receipts and all that like that. And like I said, it's probably actually done way more. Just that's the only thing I could actually like uh, find with that particular ad. But yeah, guys, um, that's five Facebook ad creatives that print money. And not for me just saying, hey, these look good from literally like backing it with data um, for like from our client accounts. All these are clients of ours. And I just want to, uh, you know, showcase this for you guys. Hope this uh, give you guys some very actionable insight specifically on, you know, how to make your ad creeps better. Maybe you've identified a couple of problems you could better fix and stuff like that. And if you're looking for an agency to actually help you create these ads, then click the link below to have Nick run your ads. We do create all of our ads for our clients. And then, or maybe you are already running your ads and you're just like, Nick, I just wish you could help me and consult with me on making my ads better. Click on have Nick Terrio mentor you um, in the below in the description because down there is where um, I have my inner circle and my inner circle, I have 50 students that I consistently provide feedback on their ads and helping them coach them and stuff like that to make better ads that make them money. Um, if you guys really like this video, drop a comment below and let me know if you guys would love to see a video called Q4 ad hooks that print money because I have about 21 hooks you can use for creatives that literally print money for Q4. And I'll make a video if you guys want me to. Just drop a comment below if you want them and I'll drop it. I'll release the sauce for you guys, but just drop a comment below if you want that. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.